Well, we are extremely pleased <clears throat> to be with you here today, dear one, and we are happy to chat with you about whatever you would like to chat about. So what is your question, dear one? Well, hello. <laughs> hello. Um, my question has to do with releasing physical trauma that is stored within the body. Mm -hmm. And interestingly enough, my inner child just came up and is presenting it. And <laughs> that's also my cat. Um, I can't really recall a time that I have not felt physical pain in some form. And that goes back from a very, very, very young age. And I predominantly carry it in my hip and my back. And I've had some pretty severe injuries to those spaces. And I know that all pain does stem from emotion and I have been trying to talk with my body and honor my body and going deep and getting to those roots but I still it almost feels like this vice grip and this part that even though I've honored what I've put my body through it still has not completely released the pain and I would like some clarity and help with that today excellent <clears throat> so just take a breath in here dear one dropping down into your body bringing your awareness out of your head down into your heart center and just breathing all the way down into that back pain hip pain whatever's present in your body here just softening relaxing and breathing into those spaces of deeper pain pain that you've been carrying for so long. And as you're breathing here, what's coming up for you? Is your inner child wanting to say anything? What feelings are coming up as you're breathing in now? That the pain is actually coming from my heart. Mm. All right, so let's go there. Just breathing into your heart, allowing yourself to feel the depth of the pain that's there. Just breathing here, being with your heart. What's coming up as you're breathing there? An emptiness, mm -hmm. which is from Just allow yourself to feel the emptiness that you're feeling in your heart. Just the depth of lack, empty. 
whatever's there in the no nothingness, in the aloneness, in the emptiness. Just breathing into empty, empty, empty heart. What comes up for you as you breathe there, dear one? Like I've poured out all of my love and there's this unfoldingness and a metal-like structure that just feels cold. Rub your hands together here, dear one. Generate some heat. <coughs> just placing your palms over your heart. Just breathing into your heart. Breathing into that coldness, into the metal, into the emptiness, everything poured out of it. really allowing yourself to feel it, to feel all of it. <laughs> Tuning into your little girl, that inner child. <laughs> what is she feeling here? like nothing she feels. <laughs> She's trying and trying and give and give. And it was just never enough and that was exhausting. Painful. And what was she feeling when she felt like she was giving so much and it was never enough? What was it that she was really wanting to feel that she wasn't getting? <laughs> well, I mean, love. Obviously, love, but... Proud of her, seeing her, proud of who she was. Just keep breathing here as you're seeing her, your sweet little self. Is there an age that comes in? I think six. Okay. So just seeing her in front of you, this sweet little six-year-old you. No, she's a badass. <laughs> she's sassy. <laughs> yeah. She's a total badass. <laughs> yeah. She's powerful. 
She's quick. She's sharp. She's brilliant. <laughs> and she's so sharp and she's so quick and no one's seeing it. No one's seeing it. People can't handle it. <laughs> so I'll give and I'll give and I'll give, trying to fill that hole. But at the same time, I'll protect my heart because I know I know I'm too much for people to handle. They may leave me. They may not love me. That's the thing, though. She doesn't protect her heart. She pours it all out. Mm -hmm. Just take her into your arms. Just feel yourself bringing that sweet six-year-old self into your chest. Feeling her heart against your heart. Feeling your hearts connecting. And feeling that heart that was just emptied out, out held against your chest. And just keep breathing here. Just keep breathing as you just begin to... Breathe into your heart and that source energy connection to your higher self, that source energy connection to the unconditional love that you are, the only place that that unconditional love comes from is within. So we want you to just breathe in here, just imagining the unconditional love of who you are pouring down through the crown of your head, pouring into your heart, pouring into your heart the truth of who you are, dear one unconditional love feeling the power of who she is seeing her seeing what a seeing what a brilliant girl she is seeing what an amazing child she is seeing her in all of her light and all of her love her love is so big it's just so big and just keep breathing here as that unconditional love of who you are is pouring down through the crown of your head pouring into your heart Pouring into your heart as your heart is connecting in with hers and just flooding her heart with love, flooding her heart with love. Just feeling the two of you merging into that space of the unconditional love that's filling up from within, pouring down in, filling your cup, filling your heart, dear one. You are so worthy of love. You are so worthy of love. You are so deserving of the immensity of the unconditional love that you are. This unconditional love that is inside of you is so big. It's so big and it's okay for you to receive your own love, dear one. It's okay for you to receive your own love. You aren't a bad person. There's not dark stuff inside of you that isn't worthy of being seen, that isn't worthy of being loved, that isn't worthy of being held. We want you to just breathe here and let that go. Let that go. Let it just ooze out of you all this energy of bad person, of not enough, of there's something wrong with me, I'm just dark, just all of that. Keep breathing here. And as you're breathing here, just feel the pain in your back and in your hips beginning to just let go, 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 let go. Just breathing here as you're just letting go of that lifetime of pain, of self-persecution, of the ways that you've been so hard on yourself, bleeding yourself out, bleeding out your love, and then beating yourself up. Just breathing here, dear one. Softening your body, relaxing your whole body, breathing into those spots of pain allowing them to be felt, allowing them to be heard, allowing them to be seen, 
allowing that little girl to be seen and held. feeling your little girl, your little one just melting into you, your heart, just the two of you merging into the immensity of the love that you are, seeing her innocence, seeing her brightness, seeing her light, realizing that's who you are, that's your light. That's your light, that's your love, that's your innocence, that's your brilliance, that's your wit. That's how big your heart is. Your heart is so big. Your heart is so big that you need to be a bigger container for your own love. You need to hold a bigger space for your own love. And so what's happened is it's been inversed where you've shut down to your own love. But your love is so big that you spray it outward, but you don't create a big enough container for you to hold the power of who you are. So this is inner work, and we want you to keep breathing here. Breathing down into your body, breathing down into your root, into your core, into your hips, into your pelvis, and really breathing into that space of stability stability, breathing into the space of deeper support, of deeper support. We want you to begin opening up your support systems here and allowing yourself to be supported, allowing yourself to be supported by the bigness of your own love. You're the only one who can fully give yourself the love that you need. It doesn't come from outside, it comes from within, but you haven't even been supporting yourself with the immensity of the love that you have. So what's happened is it's been weight that you've been carrying. It's been pain that you've been carrying. It's all been inversed. So we want you to just keep breathing here, breathing here and letting go of the heaviness of the weight that you've been carrying, like an upside down pyramid. It's like you've been an upside down pyramid, just, just tinkling on your tip with all of this weight above you. And there's this huge inversion that's wanting to happen here. Just visualize that writing of the pyramid, the pyramid becoming upright with your root on the ground, with all four corners on the ground. As you're breathing here, I am ready. I am ready. I am ready to experience myself as the container that is big enough to hold the power of my own love the sacred space. I am the sacred space. I am the sacred space that is ready to feel and experience the bigness of my own love. I am ready. Just breathing in here, breathing in here, breathing into your heart, breathing into the places where you've been carrying weight, where you've been carrying pain in your body. Softening your whole body, opening up your pelvis, opening up your pelvis, opening up your hips, and just really opening up into this space of being fully supported at your base, at your base. You're so ready to let money in, dear one. You're so ready to let in abundance. You're so ready to be pain-free. You really are. You really, 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 really are. And just feeling the pain that you've been holding on to just melting, melting, melting with the tears, melting with the release, melting because you've withheld it. You've been withholding your own love from it for so long. So we just want you to keep breathing here and imagining that unconditional love coming down through the crown of your head and pouring into your body as the most healing medicine that you've ever taken in. Just breathing in and allowing the healing power, the healing medicine of your own love to come into your body and to come into the places where you've been holding pain. Breathing it into your hips, into your back, into your body. 
just breathing the healing power of your own love being absorbed into your body that whole place of emptiness just filling up filling up overflowing with the healing power of your own love dear one so many of you that are healers and sensitives bleed this energy out you give and you give and you give and you aren't able to hold the immensity of the power that you are the immensity of the healing energy that you hold Take in your own love. That is your medicine, and that's the gift that you bring to the world. Take in the medicine of your own love, allowing it to release the pain in your body, allowing it to release the tension in your body. Do you feel that? So this is your work, dear one, is to experience this, to do this every day, to take in your love every day, to just visualize yourself stable, solid, a solid sacred container that's big enough to hold the power and the beauty of your own love, taking it in, your own medicine, dear one, you are all capable of healing yourself simply with the power of your own love and with that dear one there is so much love here for you and we look forward to chatting with you again soon